It's almost not about the volleyball anymore. We're here obviously to play, but there's a bigger reason to win. In this case, a win isn't about besting your opponent three out of five sets. It's about beating a terrible disease. Because cancer has plagued, you know, our nation for so long, and I think everybody at this point, you can ask anybody and everybody, and everybody has been affected by it at some point. Everybody knows somebody with cancer who has already passed away from it or is currently fighting it. The way Fairdale High Volleyball does its part to fight cancer is by raising money through the Pink Games. And in the last decade, it's revved up. I just made it my personal mission to um, get it to beat our goal every single year. And for the past eight years, Fairdale Volleyball has done that. Pink Games organizer Allison Poole says when she first started eight years ago, the event raised about $1,500. In 2021, it raised $12,000. Every year they push even harder um, to figure out new ways to fundraise, new ways to harass people, um, get that last dime out of the car cup holder, uh, whatever it takes. And so the girls love beating that goal. Um, and it's a great team builder for our kids, um, a great community thing, and so they put their whole heart into it, and so every year it just gets bigger and better. Wearing these pink jerseys and trying to compete with teams from the past, senior Sierra Duncan says she looks forward to this Fairdale tradition. It just brightens me up when we, I know that we're doing something to help the, the world. With all the proceeds going to Shirley's Way, a cancer nonprofit that helps people with cancer pay their bills, for this year's pink game, one of the goals is to raise $13,000. Another goal is to beat Atherton on that October 13th night. One goal, though, can only be achieved with time. It just becomes an amazing um, way to teach the girls about giving back and teaching the girls about you know, self-awareness and breast cancer and all those types of things.